everybody and welcome. I'm Miss Lisa. I'm the Youth Services Librarian at the West Osceola Library and today I'd like to welcome you to my makerspace. Now there are different kinds of makerspaces. One makerspace is a very high-tech makerspace that has things like 3D printers that helps you to make things and another one is a very low-tech makerspace which is what I have here. Things that you find around the house, things that are recyclable, different things that you can use to make things with. And today, what I'd like to show you how to make is do-it-yourself phone speakers. And I had a little problem. I wanted to listen to my music, but it wasn't very loud. So what I did was I found online this experiment, how to make do-it-yourself phone speakers. And I want you to listen to my music here. It's not very loud. This is what it would normally sound like if I didn't have speakers. Now listen to the difference. You see my speaker right there? I put it in the do-it-yourself maker space speakers and listen to the difference. It's so much louder. So I'm going to take my phone and put it over here and show you what to do. So before I start, we need a couple supplies. We need some markers or some crayons. We need some cups. I have styrofoam cups, but you can use paper cups, maybe plastic cups. You need two per speaker. I also need some paper towel rolls, cardboard paper towel rolls. I have a pencil that I could use to trace. I have some scissors and I also have a craft knife, but you need a grown up if you want to use this craft knife. If you have a craft knife at home, please make sure your grown up uses it for you. We don't want anybody getting hurt. So my first step in making these speakers is to take my paper towel tube and take my paper cup and I'm going to put it on and I'm going to trace around it. And I have one here that's already done, so let me show you. Right, I took this and I traced around it with a marker. Made it so much easier to see. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my craft knife and I'm going to cut it out. But again, if you have a craft knife, make sure your grown-up is doing it for you. It's just as easy to take your scissors and very carefully poke a little hole inside, careful so you don't hurt yourself, and cut around it. And what I will do is once I'm done cutting, I will have two paper cups or two cardboard cups or two styrofoam cups or two plastic cups with holes like that. Then the next step is to take my phone, and with my phone, I am going to, you can see they're very staticky here, I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to trace my phone, <clears throat> a rectangle around my phone, and cut it out. And the reason I'm tracing it around the phone is to make sure that it's big enough for my phone to fit in. And once I cut out, again, I could use my craft knife, but let your grown-up do it, or my scissors, and it will look like this. Then I'm going to take my craft, my paper towel tube, and I'm going to put it inside the hole in my cup. But you want to make sure that when you do that, um, you might have to smoosh it a little bit or push it down a little bit. You want to make sure that your speakers are facing out and your hole is at the top. That's what it looks like, right? So when you're done with this, you're going to do the second one, put the second one on, and then you're going to decorate it. And you can see I used my markers and I drew stripes on it. I drew polka dots and swirlies. I colored some of it. And again, this is me using my imagination to make the speakers look the way I want them to look. Now, what you can do is, once you're done with this, you can either put it on the table and decorate it, you can take it piece by piece and decorate it, but these do-it-yourself speakers, here's the science behind it. This shows that sound can be amplified. This cardboard tube right here takes the sound and it puts it or feeds it into this cup, which directs the sound out at a smaller angle than it would have come out otherwise. Because when I have my phone like this, and here's my speaker, it's going out through this whole area, right? So sound, which has been directed into a smaller angle, this smaller angle right here, makes it sound stronger because the sound, which has been directed into this smaller angle, sounds stronger as opposed to when the sound has this whole area to spread out upon. So, <clears throat> now a way to make this, uh, this experiment go further, find some more interesting stuff out is what would happen to the sound if I took off just one of the cups? Is it louder? Quieter? Is it the same? I don't know. Find out. What if I take my phone and I try to put it 
in like a glass bowl or a glass measuring cup instead of using styrofoam or plastic. Does it sound different? What if I use a plastic bowl? The shape, does the shape make a difference in the sound? What else could I use? What if I tried to use a longer cardboard tube, like from wrapping paper instead of from paper towels? Would it make a difference? What if I used a shorter tube, like from toilet paper roll instead of a paper towel tube? Would that make a difference? What happens if I only use um, one cup and I cut it off here and put my phone in here and this whole section's gone? Would that make a difference? What other modifications could you make that would change the sound? Well, try those things at home and let me know what happens. I hope you had fun today making your do-it-yourself speakers and next time I see you, tell me about it. Hope you had fun. See you soon. Bye-bye.